Thanks to Tutal. I want me your face dry. Your face don't dry. Let me face like two times for top of I enter the water. Go fetch water. Me? Go fetch water. Hey! Who said we? That's a good one, take care. No. It's all deep. It's all deep. Don't dirty the water. Let me come and point for me. Agora, what is your name? Super Mecca is my name. So what are you doing here? Well, this train, it took us a very long time, very long distance to get here. And this is a stream that comes out from the rock. And uh, we had to take that distance, make that sacrifice to come here and fetch from this water. We fetch so that we can cool our brains, cool everything that concerns our life, you know, it depends on your belief anyways, so watch me fetch. So you mean the, uh, the water has any, it has any spiritual power or yes, anything connected, matter, spiritual fact, thing connected to the water? As a matter of fact, it is consecrated. Why? Because on getting here, uh, you see signboards telling you that it is consecrated and the name of this water actually bears the name of the founder of the Christ Apostolic Church Ministries, Afe Babalola. So this, he discovered this stream, he discovered this spring. It is named after him. So Babalola, what spring? Afe Babalola spring. spring. Okay. Yes. So here I go. Mind you, there are fishes. It's clean, very clean.
Is it advisable for one to drink the water? Is it yes. drinkable? It is, it is clean and it is drinkable. Once the water settles, once the water settles, even from pouring it on your head, from pouring it on your body, you will feel relaxed, you know, you feel relaxed. And when it settles, it is drinkable. It's very drinkable, it's very clean. I can assure you that it's very clean. I wish I could drink. I wish I could drink it. Do as if you are drinking it. Do as if you drink it. Just kind of do that. Like, like okay. Let me fetch another one for drinking. There I go. Don't drink it, too. Oh. Can I drink it? Can I drink it? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should test it. I should test it. Mm -hmm. and you see. don't pull them now. Pull them. Go for more. Never do. Okay. Maybe I should test it. Uh, if you want. If you want. I'll try it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Water is, pure. water is pure, cool. All right. <laughs> I enjoyed That's water. confirmation. <laughs> no, no single taste. At all. Pure, this is a real pure water. This, this is a real pure water. Not that one the way you were on the road. The pure pure water. Pure water. This is real Good. pure water. Good. There is life in water. Oh, thank God. All right. Me once more. Yeah. Water is real life. Water indeed is life. I wish I would came here every day to do what they call water fasting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just come here, you know, stay around, do prayers, just walk a little distance to this place. Then the first thing that goes into my mouth is this water. It is... It's interesting. Ah, amazing. Wow! I'm back to life. Are you sure? Yeah. What do you think? What, 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 why do you think that you are back to life? What can give fish life for years, living in it, can give every woman the life. There is a proverb said in my language. Yes. Okay, okay. Which is? A fish can live there and have life. No one can come to the water and regret it. And I have a greatest musician that I've gone to. Rest in peace. Cause fella. Water doesn't have any enemy. Water, water doesn't get any enemy. Okay. It has no enemy. Brother. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it. Water. It it enemy. Enemy. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. He has no enemy. Brother right? <laughs> the best friend of one. It is. That is why whoever that is doing bad. You only succeed doing that your bad if you don't test water and the sun doesn't touch it or every green leaf doesn't pass in your mouth. Especially salt, you've gotten water. Ah. Salt and water are brother and sister. You are right. You are, you are right. You are right. Anything you do in this life without salt, without water, is not begin. But it's even from water you get salt. Yes. yes. And there's nothing in this earth you will do as long as I'm concerned without water and salt. Which is when you are doing any battle, when you are going wrong, 
when you feel that you're so wicked, do without salt and water, you succeed in what you're doing. As long as you don't do without salt and water and oil, you will be you will be disgraced one day. You only have some few days. One day is for the name of Yeshua, the Messiah. Now to confirm what she's saying, I have a song, a special number we sing. Oh. It says Holy Father, rain on me, make me strong and let me free. All the people we know, me, we know, won't make I live long, go. Water carry them go. All the people we know, won't make we succeed. Water carry them go. <laughs> so that's, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a nice, that's a nice song. That's that's a, nice. It's, it's from one of my friends, he sang it recently, he just dropped a number. And I love that song. I love that song. In this life, anyone who is wicked, the water of life will just take you away. Anyone who doesn't want our prosperity, our success, the water of life whew, washes you off. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. You. Okay, see you next time. All right. Well, when I come back here again, I would like to have a short interview with Whenever you. Whenever God wants me to be back, it's not by my power. Precisely. It's Precisely. just by His grace. Exactly. Okay. It's an appointment with So you are, you, are, you are coming all the way from where? Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa. Yeah. Africa. Yeah. The, Africa the, is good. Africa the largest, is... The is largest of Africa. <laughs> the motherland of the world. Yeah. Of Africa. I can confirm that because as we, hear, we have here so many uh, natures. Nature. So look at Tara, there's Nature. natures Plant, everywhere. Water, planted. the river here is, is a just pure nature. You know, I have, I just have one thing against Africans. God Almighty blessed Africans with everything they would need in life. But, however, most Africans have these resources, but no, they don't have use for them. You see, they don't have use for them at all. And I bet you, if it was a Western man, a, a man from the Western world that came here, or perhaps a company from the Western world that came here, by the time they are returning to this place, you see bulldozers, caterpillars, and every manner of equipment to, to beautify this place, you know, and make it a tourist, a, center. a tourist center. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So that's that's it. But we Africans, we we have these things, but we don't know the value. But on the other hand, we thank God for these resources. <coughs> we, we just thank God. That's that's it. That's it. Okay. Thank you, my brother. Peace out. Yeah.